You can call Mark Shane Rayford the former Public Works Director of Sims. His termination date was November 30th, so that was his last day of employment. His paid leave started two months earlier when he was arrested by deputies. Factoring in his $50,000 a year salary, he was paid roughly $8,400 without having to go into the office. I knew Shane for being on the planning commission, you know, prior to that. And, uh, and I would say it was. It, all of it has been a, a very big surprise to me, so the whole situation, so. The whole situation goes back to Rayford's home in late September. Officials say five teenagers were throwing toilet paper on his front yard. Rayford ran outside and shot at the teenager's car as they drove away. His attorney says his client acted in self-defense. Rayford then followed the teens to this nearby gas station where he ordered 10 young people on the ground and held them at gunpoint. Mayor Judy Hale fired Rayford after consulting with the city's attorney. One reason they told him to hit the road were the roads. We had to move forward. We had to have someone in that position. That, that's very important. We, that's a very important position for the city because we will begin to take over the roads in May, May of uh, this year. So we have to, we have a lot of work to do getting up to that point. Two months of paid leave is small when compared to other government employees who have gotten in trouble. Washington County teacher Charlene Schmitz got paid for more than two years as she was convicted of child enticement. Chad Petrie, News 5.